Scotland Yard. Your call has been held in the queue and we will answer it as soon as possible. You may find on occasions being backwards in the queue since urgent calls from police officers do take priority. All of our press releases are published online at www.met.police.uk forward slash press bureau. <coughs> Jonathan, will you please stop hanging the phone up for me? It's very rude, and I'd like to raise a complaint about the two calls you've hung up to me on me tonight. I understand that, and you have. A can you raise? Can you please raise a complaint then? Can, can you please? Can you please immediately raise a complaint? You have a. I will record. I do not have. I do not have any. I do not have a single point of contact anywhere. I'm perfectly entitled to use the public services of the Metropolitan Police. Yes. Yes. I do. Uh, okay. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Now, notwithstanding, notwithstanding the fact, hang on one second, notwithstanding the fact that the complaints department of the Metropolitan Police have an unlawful policy that is not authorised, that's confirmed by the Metropolitan Police, it is currently being investigated by the IPCC, for what worth that is, okay, the Metropolitan Police, what the policy that they have in place is in relation to only complaints about police officers, so even if it was lawful, it's only about p complaints. This is not a complaint. You're being very unreasonable tonight. This is a press inquiry. Now, you have been instructed and obstructed a, a member of the press making inquiries to the press bureau. Perfectly reasonable. I made a uh, request to the press bureau for answers in relation to Operation Alice. It is an area of, of, of journalism that I am following up, okay, in relation to police investigations and accountability. Sounds reasonable so far? Jonathan? Does it sound reasonable so far? Okay, okay. So first off, I'm the, I make an inquiry to the press bureau. The professional standards become involved and then issue a diktat to the press bureau and obstruct a press line inquiry. Okay, and tell you not to contact and not to have speak to me. Then come back to the press department. I spoke to some people the other evening after I got another email from Lucy James to confirm to the press bureau that I am a member of the of the press. I, I am a bona fide news gatherer as defined by ACPO. I have a press card. I'm entitled to make inquiries in the public interest from a journalistic point of view about matters which are clearly in the public interest. Lucy James has come back to me with an email today following that conversation to tell me to provide evidence to you that I am a member of the press. Okay? Now, ACPO run the register. You only have to go and check with ACPO whether I'm a member of the press or not. Is that correct? You hold a UK press card authority. Of course card, I do. Of course I do. Well, I don't, I don't know what I don't know what you know. Of course, I'm I'm fully aware. I mean, there's I've 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 won a high court defamation case against a very senior Metropolitan Police commander for the smear that's going on about me by the Metropolitan Police. Now, I fully understand that you've been given instructions from someone to do to behave in that what I find a very very rude and obstructive manner towards me. I'm very aware that that certain sections of the Metropolitan Police are smearing me. But I am a bona fide news gatherer as defined by ACPO. I'm a holder of a British press card issued by the gatekeeper National Union of Journalists. <coughs> I'm being asked to provide a copy of my uh, press card to Lucy James. Now I don't, I don't have to provide anything to Lucy James. Lucy James is not involved in my inquiries to the, to the press bureau. Okay. There is a complaint about the conduct of the Press Bureau and, and the conduct of Lucy James and the Professional Standards Department is obstructing the line of inquiry from a bona fide journalist already. So that's that's going to go through and follow its course, which will obviously find that I am a member of the press and that you have been obstructing my inquiries. So what I'd like you to do, okay, you go and check the ACPO register. I don't need to provide anything to you, okay? I'm telling you I am a member of the press. You have the UK Press Card Authority number relevant to your card. I, of course I do. 
uh, could I have it then to run it through the verification? You just put, you know my name. You just put my name through the through the through the register, and you'll find that. I, I need a the card number. I have to go and locate my card. I have it on my person at the second. But obviously, this could all have been cleared up so much easier the weeks ago when I when I've been making contact with you over this. Yeah, do you not think? And people don't need to be rude about things and quite abusive towards me. Found it very objectionable. I I don't have it on on my person at the moment. I'll have to locate it. It's obviously kicking about something. Okay, I will leave you to locate that card and that number, and then you can I, fly I, it I, I, and I then we'll speak to Sergeant James regarding it. Why Why are you speaking to Sergeant James? What's she got to do with it? What has Charles and James got to do, Lucy, Lucy James got to do with it, anything other than the fact that she has been, she has been set up to behave in an obstructive manner towards people who are trying to expose police corruption? Lucy James is part of the problem, not part of the solution. If you're a decent police officer or, or a civilian member of staff who works at the Metropolitan Police, as there is many, why do you want to be part of that? I've asked simple questions of the Metropolitan Police. In relation to um, the officer involved in Plebgate, you're well aware of the questions I've asked. And whether that I'm member, that somebody else has taken those questions and recorded right. them. Right, yes. you're right. So those those are very it, questions which are very much in the public interest about a police officer who was involved in Plebgate, in the Operation Alice investigation, who was not interviewed because they went sick. My question is simple: Is the person now not sick, and does the Metropolitan Police have any intention of? interviewing that individual to find out whether they hold information which may lead to discovery that certain officers within the Metropolitan Police were involved in a conspiracy against Andrew Mitchell. It just seems very odd to me that this individual wasn't investigated and wasn't interviewed and it was all very easy to pull a stunt that he, he was sick. When do you think I'm going to be furnished with a response to those answers, to those questions? Um, well, if you can provide this UK press card number, so we can verify. Are you are you uh, not, uh, not able? Are you not uh, able? Holder. Are you not able to search ACPO with my name? No, the uh, UK press card authority requires the uh, number that's on the card. The UK press authority requires the number that's on the card. Yes, there should be a number on the press authority card. UK press card authority. <laughs> But my name should be on it, no? I'm sure your name is also on right, the card so as well. Right, so why can't you search that? I've got my press card to hand now. And my na my press card number is 010130. 010130. Correct. Okay, I'll note that and uh, we'll try and verify that and uh, I'll note your call tonight. Thank you very much. Do you verify every member of the press that phoned you up? Uh, or is this, am I getting special? Yeah. Am I getting special treatment? Uh, on occasions, uh, when we when we have to, we do verify uh, press card holders. Right. So I've provided you with a um, press card number. I am a bona fide news gatherer, as defined by ACPO. When do you think I'm going to be furnished with the response to my questions? I mean, also, secondly, are you going to apologise for your behaviour tonight? Uh, obviously, I explained to you that you, you know you had a point of contact. I'm only working on the information that I'm provided here with me. Um, but do you not think you should apologise? By it? Have I behaved in any way in, in any way abusive to you? And I have not uh, behaved in any way abusive to you. Either. You've hung up the phone on me twice when I'm trying to speak to you. Uh, I didn't just hang up. I did advise you that I was terminating the call. That's you hung up the phone. You wouldn't. You didn't even bother to have a conversation with me. The conversation that we've had now which is obviously elicited from me a number, which you can go and check a register and check that I'm a bona fide member of the press. And I've been trying to tell you that. For, in fact, I've told you that now for, for nearly a month. Uh, not me personally, but I appreciate you giving me your UK uh, press card authority number. Right. Do you not think you could apologise to me tonight for hanging up the phone on me twice? Uh, I don't feel that I have anything to apologise for. I did hang up the phone, but I did inform you before I was hanging up the phone that I was terminating the call. Do you not think that's rude? Do you not think that's rude? Because you could have had this conversation in the first call that we had and not wasted my time and your time. I feel this conversation has uh, progressed fine and I think we'll end it here now. Thank you very much. Good night.
Bye-bye.